Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic Amazonian Maze. We're going to be starting off with the uh, boat dock. Actually, I've already gotten to the location that I want to be because I'm actually taking part in a mission. Well, now, I've already completed the Amazonian exploration, but and I've gotten most of the uh, species that are to be found for this one. We need to catch the silver arowana and the electric eel. Now, these two are kind of hard to find, honestly. I've been looking for them in several locations. This map, as I said, is massive, so the only thing I've been told is that there are electric eels in the same spot that I've been catching the arapaima, but you gotta fish for them across, almost directly across from where I've been catching the arapaima. So, I've been trying a little bit there. We're going to see if we have any luck, and if not, I'm going to try another location that one of my viewers had told me about as well. Let me get here in the map. Now, for those of you who don't know where this location is, now that's where I've been catching the arapaima right over here. And they are great for the grinding of points. But the location is right over here, and it does take a while to get there. I mean, you literally have to start from here, come all the way down here. This is where we were fishing for the wolf fish. Then you got to come out here, go all the way around this to get back to here. It is not a short trip, but I've been told that you can catch them here in this little location here. This is where the arapaima here, as you can see. Arapaima maze right there. Nothing there. I've marked that just so that I kind of have a basis of where to start from. And the other location they supposedly are are to be, I believe they said it was right in here. This location here, which is kind of a little cove or something. It might actually make sense because they don't like flowing water really. They like still water. So we will try that if it doesn't work over here. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump in here. Now I've got my rod pot out here. They, I don't have a lot of the baits to go for, but I do have the shiners and the small minnows. Well, we're going to see what we can do about trying bottom, fi bottom fishing and float fishing here. I do need to take that tension down. I don't know why that's up like that. Let's toss this one out. Actually, we're going to try the small minnows first. I think I'm going to put shiners on this one. And this one's a cat boxer. It's not going to... We're not going to need as big of a rod to catch them as we do the arapaima. And I'm going to throw one out for the arapaima. Right over here. And then we're going to get our, let's see, our float fishing rod, not that rod. Hmm. Not sure I can get that cast out that way. Yeah, I can. Let me see. What is the leader set to? Let's try a little deeper because they tend to, I mean, they're eels. They tend to be more on the bottom. Let's see how close I'm coming to it. Eh, not too bad. Oh, we got something over there. It's number two. Uh, whatever it is, it's not very big. Yeah. 
It is a piranha. <laughs> Getting lots of those. I think something is going after the float rod. Either that or we just have a very active shiner. Now we are in the peak, but we might do a little better at night. I'm hoping that we can catch this guy in the daytime so I can get a better picture though. All right, let's see what we got here, guys. That's uh, probably another piranha. Oops. Yep, those red belly piranhas are everywhere. Just like sunfish here, except they can eat the flesh right off of you. <laughs> well, in schools, that is. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not really getting a good cast. I wonder if I could... Let's see what test do I have on here? 50.7. Let's lower that a little bit. I don't need seriously heavy lines, so maybe if I go with a 42.2 braid. Might get a little more casting distance with that. Okay, let's see what's going on with number two here. Well, something's running with it. Uh, it's a little bigger than the last two. I think it's still another piranha, though. Ooh, trophy red-eyed piranha. That was a fat bugger. Yeah, if I get another prawn off of this, I think I'm going to see if I can try something different. Because this is... I'm just feeding the piranha. And a trophy red belly piranha. Now let me see, what do these guys go for? I don't think anything I give them, though the prana will. Let's see, where do they go? Let's see, there they are. Aracu minnows, banded Aracu minnows, Amazonian sardine. Hmm. Small minnows and shiners. Yeah, and they're only gold. And I don't even think I can purchase the Amazonian sardines. Yep, I have to be a level 68. Well, that stinks. Well, we're just going to have to make do with what we have. I think I am going to switch this with the shine. Well, yeah. We'll go ahead and put the shiner on there.
Right, let's see if we get that extra cast distance here. I think I've gotten it. Yep, we're right where we want to be. We got we got one on here, and I think we got us an Arapaima. Oh yeah. Put him down for a moment and see if we can get on here. Seems like it always happens all at once. Ripsaw catfish. Yeah, that's it, Arapaima. I think I lost whatever's on the other one. Well, this guy is not making it easy for me. Young Arapaima, 4080, 1,227 XP gained. We can use that XP. And now we have to reset all our daggone lines, though. Yeah, I think he took my bait. No, no he didn't. What the heck? Oh, there. Flat whiskered catfish. Something tells me these guys are not going to be all that easy to get. Yeah, I have no idea where to find the arowana. I have not heard a thing about their locations. I'm going to go ahead and try a large minnow over there. Now this is supposed to be the peak. Okay, this has got some size to it. I 
me if it is a piranha this time it's a good size one no I don't know what it is hold on trophy rips all catfish 1725 not too bad not too bad cash XP is not great though it's only a 162 Okay, this might have some size to it too. Damn. Oh yeah. Let's put a little bit more pressure on him. Yeah, this is this is something other than it could be another Arapaima. I haven't ruled out that they may be caught in other spots. Yeah, I don't think it's a eel. It's not going to be that strong. Two very boring minutes later. Yeah, I think it's an Arapama. No, it's a Pariba. Whoa. Honest to God, I had no idea what they were over here. I knew they were out in the uh, ocean part of it, but I'll be damned. It's not the biggest one I've caught, but you can see just how big these guys are. They're quite a fish. Like 72 pounds. 50 inches. That's good XP. 1340. I've got. I had a spot for them, but I had no idea you could catch them over here. No wonder he gave me such a fight. I think I might try that other spot because I am not. getting what I'm after. I mean, it's great to catch these big fish. It's good XP, but I also want to complete this mission. Alright, let's go ahead and get in the boat. I think we're going to need to go this direction. Maybe not.
Yep, we gotta go this way. But it's a distance. Alright guys, I think I may have found the spot they were talking about because there was supposed to be a big tree right here. Somewhere in this general vicinity, anyway. We're going to give it a try. Okay, something's going on. Right as soon as I got to this location, it's swelling up just like it did with the bull sharks. Okay, we got something. <laughs> and we got one. Awesome. The electric eel, we completed it. 3360. 17 pounds, 1382 XP. Now that, that's quite a bit. And that's a common one, so I'd love to see what happens if we get a unique. Let me take a look at this guy. Definitely have to be careful with him. Literally get the shock of your life. <laughs> Well, I found the spot. It's kind of close to where I was guessing. Let me see here. Go ahead and get to the map. We'll remove that one. Wow. Well, I cast it out that far and then I pulled it in. That might not be a bad, uh, bad way of trying it. Let me see here. Let's get rid of this mark. We'll troll this over here. Seem to be in that area right there where it's a little bit light. Okay, we're going to try that again. I just kind of pulled it in a little bit, and then we started seeing the swell. Holy crap, did you just see that? I saw the electric current. It's right under the boat. Wow, that's cool. It's 
very possible that I could be pointing out where they are located. Seems to be coming from right under there. Much later. Well, here we go again. So that marker is pretty accurate. Oh, shoot. That's not good. Whatever that was, it was big. It's really big. Oh, that should not. I think I must have had the. Must have had it all the way up or something. That's the only thing I can figure. One minute, 37 seconds later. Damn. There it goes again. Take it all the way down this time. We got him this time. Another electric eel. This is a new personal record. 4228. Seems to be the spot right there. It's funny, but I saw the electrical shocks over there to the left of me. Alright guys, I think that's all we're going to be getting in this episode. I haven't gotten any more scenes where things start to swell underneath it but we did manage to meet our mission and we now have a good spot to fish for these guys hopefully we can get a unique next time pretty sure that one had to be at least a trophy that almost took that bait well did take the bait anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this episode please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and i'll be back with another episode of planet classic so until then as I always say aim straight cast far and have fun and i will see you later bye bye